And when we run this program, it says, hello, what is your name in the prompt? Okay, let's say that our name is Joe Student. We hit enter. And now it returns a message. Good afternoon, Joe Student. Welcome to Educator.com. All right, now that might not seem complicated at first, but let's look at the coding behind it to see what's actually going on. So we open up this. And this program makes use of the system clock, so whatever uh, system you're using, Windows, the Apple, Mac operating system, uh, it is going to use that system clock, same thing, you know, the system clock and calendar. And first of all, in the JavaScript, we declare our variables. We say, we're going to say that the string that the, enter user, the user enters is going to be the variable name. Uh, the variable now is going to be the date. The variable hour is going to be the current system hour. On a 24-hour, most systems are going to use that 24-hour sort of military time. 24-hour uh, day clock, hour clock. All right, then we prompt the user for the name, and now we get into if logic. All right, so take a look at this. First of all, we're saying if the hour is less than 12, what do we want to have happen? Now, if the hour is less than 12, what does that mean? It means that it's before noon. It's less than 12. We're dealing with a system clock that is saying that it's morning, and so then we say, good morning. We let the uh, document write statement say good morning. What happens if the hour is greater than 12? If the hour is greater than 12, greater than or equal to, then we say convert that to a 12-hour clock. So we say hour equals hour minus 12. All right, so then we know that it is afternoon, and we have to determine, is it before 6 p.m.? If it is, the hour is less than 6, then we want to say it's between noon and 6. We want to say good afternoon. Okay, so we've made two logical decisions already. We've determined, is it morning? If it is, we're going to say good morning. Is the hour between noon and 6? If it is, we're going to say good afternoon. And then the last one, we're going to determine whether it is after 6 p.m. If the hour then is greater than or equal to 6, then we know that it's in the evening, so we have the program write, good evening. All right, and then that's the end of the logic. All right, so this is a good introduction to what programmers will call the mighty if. One of the best ways to use JavaScript in all programming languages is to make logical decisions uh, so that the user can enter something and then the program can do something based on what the user entered, and it can make decisions based on what the user entered. Uh, and based on what the programmer wants to have happen to that data. All right, so let's take a look at this again. If we run it, we will say, hello, what is your name? Our name is Jill Student. So it says, good afternoon, Jill Student. Welcome to educator.com. Now, it's afternoon here, but if you were somewhere in the morning, somewhere in the evening, it would change that message. So this is a program, if you set it up for yourself, try it at various times of the day and you can make sure that it is working correctly. All right, so that takes us to the end of lesson two. Thanks for watching educator.com.